cooking thermometer helps you to be sure that your food is cooked just right. But you've got to calibrate the thermometer to make sure they're accurate. Calibration is really easy. Let me show you how to do it. All you need is some ice, a container, and some water. So fill your container with ice, add some water, and give it a few seconds until the ice and the water get about the same temperature. So the water's nice and cold. It's equilibrated with the ice. So we're gonna stick our thermometers in. I thought I'd give you more than one thermometer so you can see how it all works. So these thermometers have been in the ice and water mix for a couple of three minutes. And, and actually, it's doing pretty good. It's 32 degrees, so this one is just right. If it was wrong, you can adjust it. This particular type of dial has a little nut on the bottom. So if it was measuring too high or too low, take your pliers and turn whatever area is necessary. So when it's stuck back in the ice water mix, it's right on target. The digital thermometer is not quite as accurate. This is reading 38 degrees and there's no dial to turn here. So what you need to do is make an adjustment based upon your knowledge. So it's supposed to be 32, it's registering 38. So that means it's six degrees off. So what you would do is cook your end target meat at a six degree difference. So if it's ground beef, it's supposed to be cooked to 160. You need to cook it to 166. Now, maybe you've got something on the other side some of our work with consumers in their thermometers found that some thermometers were 20 degrees different and some were lower. Some were measuring 120 or 140 when they should have measured 160. So if you stick your thermometer in and it measures 20 degrees colder, then you need to adjust your temperature accordingly when you look for your end temperature of your meat. So if it's 20 degrees too cold, going for 160, 20 degrees means you need to cook it to 140. So use your head to adjust, got the accurate amount. The critical thing is you are in control. You have the techniques to cook your meat safely till it's perfectly done, juicy, succulent, by calibrating, you know just where your thermometer is and exactly the endpoint you should be seeking.